placing the keyboard on an Acer Aspire uh, 5742. There's little tabs. If you press the keys down, you can see them. You could press them in. There's one there, one there, one there. But if the keyboard is already damaged, you could probably get it started by just prying up on it. We're replacing it with a new one so it didn't like hurting this one's going to matter. Once you get it started with a flathead screwdriver, you want to go around, pop each one in tabs. And continue to pry it up. Pried up. It's a ribbon cable. <laughs> Take a screwdriver, pull it forward, pull this side forward, pull the ribbon cable out. Get your new keyboard. Once you have your new keyboard, slide the ribbon in. Pressing this little plastic thing back. Locked into place. And push it down and it snaps in. You have a new keyboard.